Yo, what's up? In this video, I will show you what happens when you preheat. I already have a video about this. What, what happens when you preheat the battery in the Model 3? But uh, in that case, I was sitting in the car for half an hour, so I was kind of ruining it. Now I have four cases. I will show you what happens and how the car thinks and how it prioritizes, because I wanted to know how does it how does it do this and how does it prioritize things so uh, in this case i was preheating in schlefteo uh, i was plugged into 11 kilowatt it was a fortum uh, uh, ac charging spot uh, well it's 22 kilowatt but the car can only take 11 kilowatt um, and i will start exactly at 8 in the morning and you will see it here the clock um, so i pre prepared everything waited for the eight hour mark and then I tried to go for it. So uh, I charged 90% during the night. And you see, because it was charging at 11 kilowatt and it wasn't too cold outside, the temperature was still 15 degrees, even in the morning. Uh, so that's these starting parameters. It's three degrees Celsius outside. We will see different cases in the, the following ones here coming in. Okay, so I think, yeah, there. At eight, exactly, I pre started preheating. Uh, let's just see what happens. So uh, there's still some variables missing here. That's why it looks a bit weird. Um, but um, immediately, um, I also did one thing though, which is very important. I set the charge limit to 95% because I wanted to, I didn't want to stay at 95% too long. So I wanted to go to 95% in the morning before I left uh, to, to um, reduce degradation, but I didn't want to go to 100%. Uh, but it's just that, okay, I went 95%, uh, to slightly minimize the amount of DC fast charging I need on the trip. But one interesting thing here is that you see that um, the heater is firing up and the heater seems to be at around uh, how much is it? a little over four kilowatt. Um, it will it will go kind of high in the beginning. And then it's, it goes into the resting, whatever, uh, slightly lower, but it, it will try to heat up the car fairly fast. But notice that the afterburners are not running now. So the car actually chooses to prioritize charging up instead, because I've set the charge limit to 95%. And it, it probably figures out that 15 degrees Celsius in the pack is still okay. So we don't have to, we don't have to preheat the battery. It's, it's okay. It's more important to reach the, the desired charging uh, limit. So if we skip here a little bit, um, you see that um, uh, the heater now, after a while, even only after eight minutes, the heater power has reduced to only, uh, well, 1.5 kilowatt roughly, yeah. Um, so it, it doesn't take that long time to just get the nice warm cabin and then from there of course it still has to heat up the rest of the cabin uh, things are still hot like steering wheel wall everything so it still needs to pump a little bit more heat but interesting uh, it charges at around seven kilowatt and then the rest goes into heating up uh, the cabin and everything and also i found out that uh, model 3 when it's acting like this it's uh, it's pumping, it's running some pumps, running some fans and stuff. Um, uh, it uses almost one kilowatt for all the auxiliary stuff going on. Um, so yeah, uh, but l let me show you here. So uh, very interesting is that it will tr it will prioritize heating up. Uh, sorry, charging it up. And actually, I think get, let me skip back again. But okay, we start with fifteen degrees. Actually, during the charging session. Uh, the battery also heats up a little bit. I'm not sure where it comes from. Uh, there, there might be a little bit of heat from the cabin escaping down below and actually heating up the battery in that way. Uh, and also uh, the, the charging process generates a little bit of heat. That might be why. But um, you will see that one, uh, some interesting things start happening at 95% here. At 95%, I reach the desired charge level and then it fires up the, the afterburner. Because then the car figures out, okay, we are done. We have more power in the plug. Let's heat up the battery then. <laughs> so, wow, this is pretty cool, man. Uh, now it fires it up. You see um, the, the battery inlet goes up. Uh, it will heat up the battery. We can skip here, not much to see. Um, it will go to uh, 27 degrees Celsius. Uh, here, here, here. Okay, so, and then actually it will stop the afterburners a little bit before. Let me skip here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There, 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 there. Yeah, there. It stopped at 26 because it, it knows that there is some leftover heat in the inlet and in the stators. So it stops there. 
so that took almost an hour, but we, we charged to 95%. So you see, in this case, the charging of the batteries took some of that uh, energy from the plug or whatever, and uh, the car didn't want to just simply uh, suck too much battery uh, because it probably, it probably figures out that we have enough sufficient heat. It was, uh, was again, it was 15 degrees in the bottom here and it just wanted to reach the, the desired charging rate uh, level, sorry. Let's look at another case. Okay, in this case, again, I start at eight. <laughs> you see, I start a little bit before, yeah, was so much work, man. I had to wake up early and get ready. And um, again, in this case, we were in Ro Rovaniemi. I charged the car to 90% the night before. We didn't have to go anywhere, so the charge limit was set to 90%. And I had about, okay, this, that plug was a little bit weird. I think I had about five or six kilowatt available in, in that plug. Um, uh, but then interesting here is that once we start preheating, it will prioritize to heat up the battery. Um, and the, you see that cell temp was 14, I draw the night before or something. And of course I also charged during the night and it wasn't too cold. You see it was only zero degrees Celsius um, back then. So then uh, the car figures out, okay, we have, um, uh, we have reached the, the, the side charge limit. Let's just fire up the, the afterburners, but also fire up the heater. So right now we are pulling quite a lot of power here. Um, I'm not sure how much, but what I can see, we see is pulling over 10 kilowatt combined here. Uh, so it actually spends a little bit from the plug to heat up the battery. Uh, very interesting in this case, uh, if you just skip a little bit, uh, what happens then? After about, you see, after 10 minutes, the heaters are already resting at 1.5 kilowatt, which is not far away from when the car is fully heated after several hours. Uh, but also, um, a weird thing is that the afterburner shut down. Um, I think it shut down, let me skip here. When did it shut down? It shut down after, only after five minutes it shut down. Huh. And then it wanted to prioritize charging the car back to, uh, to 90% again. Um, and then let me see, I don't remember exactly what happens. Yeah, and then <laughs> once it reached 90% again, then it figures out, okay, we can fire up the afterburners again. <laughs> and now we are pulling less power to, make, to heat up the cabin. So at least that's good. Uh, so we are sucking less from the battery. This is actually minus from the battery. Um, and again, it wants to preheat the battery. As you see, the battery temperature goes up. Uh, the afterburners are running. The state of charge drops, but not too much. Uh, and then again, uh, it stops there. <laughs> um, stops the afterburners um, to again, I guess, charge up the battery. Uh, and then it fires up the afterburner again. So it does all that. It seems like the car will try uh, um, keeping the desired charging rate if you're plugged in is very important. So yes, again, if you're plugged in, it wants to stay close to the to the, the, the desired uh, charging uh, level. Uh, that's actually more important than heating up the battery. So you see, very important, uh, very, very interesting how the car thinks, uh, how it's been programmed. There again, it stopped uh, the afterburners, uh, still heating, well actually at this point, it might have enough heat, yeah. I think for the rest of this this uh, preheating session, it didn't fire up the afterburner anymore. It was just resting um, and only maintain the heat in the cabin. And it seems like it took about 45 minutes. So in this case, about 45 minutes and you have reached Nirvana. Yes, where is it that charging uh, percentage is what you want. And also the, the battery is at 27 degrees Celsius. Uh, so we see that for the rest of the preheating session, nothing really is going on. It's just sucking a little bit from, uh, from the, well, it pulls power from the plug rather than draining the battery. Well, actually, sometimes it's doing this weird thing. Uh, well, it sucks a little bit from that one. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, it's not too strict on it, I guess. And then now it charges it a little bit up again. Yeah, but let's look at another case. Okay, this case is, we're still staying at Rovaniemi. We're not going anywhere yet. And in this case, I'm not plugged in. Okay, and we are at 63%. We start with 63%, and the time is 9.27 something, but uh, pay attention to this one. It's minus 5.5, it's getting cold outside. Cell temp is only at two, uh, three degrees Celsius. So the battery in this case is pretty cold. Um, what else should we say? Uh, this one is stuck though, max discharge power, don't listen to it. Uh, you will get the real value once you 
press the brake and start driving. So it's most likely at least at 100 or 150 kilowatt, not at 22 kilowatt. But I started preheating again without plugging in. And this is a different case because then the car doesn't, I mean, it can't, cannot simply reach a charge level because it's not plugged in. So then it will think differently. Then it fires up everything. Yes, I mean everything. It fires up the afterburners, it fires up the heater. We want to heat it up quickly as the master asks us to. And they, and they will suck a lot of power. I will pause around, uh, let me see. You see that, interestingly, um, right now the heater is running at over 4 kilowatt, but the afterburner is only running at 6 kilowatt. It seems like, you see now it's, it's maximum is 13.4, but there's something weird here, because if you try to add this, it, that's 6 plus, this is 10 something, so we have, we have a little over 10 kilowatt going here and here, and then the car sucks 13 kilowatt. So what the heck, where is the rest of the 3 kilowatt going? <laughs> I have no idea, really. This is a mystery. Uh, there must be some losses somewhere. Or, uh, what, what? What? I have no idea. Uh, okay, but based on earlier uh, findings, um, when, when you're running the pumps and the fans and everything, um, it should consume about 1 kilowatt. Uh, but not three, really. Um, so I'm not sure why it's that high. But okay, let's just keep going here. So you see that this is what you can expect. Worst case, with a really cold battery uh, and cold cabin, uh, I bet the cabin was minus five also. Then it will suck 13 kilowatt or something, 13 and a half even. Um, but after a while, though, you will see that the, the heater doesn't run at that maximum speed for too long. Let me skip a little bit here. You see, now the heater starts uh going down it's not throttling and then the afterburners go up uh so one i wonder if about 13 kilowatt is the highest it doesn't it doesn't want to push it to 14 kilowatt um so yeah it means that if you have um if you charge to whatever charge level you have and you have uh, 11 kilowatt plugged in then uh, you cannot simply get uh, what you uh, the the it will have to pull a little bit from the battery yes like we saw in the first case uh, but okay um just skip skip a little bit not too much going on so you see now it's heating up the battery like we want to uh, but uh, one thing you want to know is that okay how long does it take so we started at uh, 27 okay 27 okay i'm gonna check something um how long does it take to preheat the battery and how much energy and we we start with 63 percent okay if you skip here a little bit uh skip the time you can look at the time up there uh, after okay there there uh there the afterburners shut down after 27 oh damn i'm so bad at this okay after 40 40 minutes after 40 minutes the the afterburner shut down and i think yeah then it's warmer. So uh, in this case, um, let me see, I think we have to wait a little bit more. So there's a, just a remaining heat in the system that it heats up. So you see, in this case, it takes 45 minutes to preheat the battery and cabin when it's not plugged in and when it's that cold. So if it's not that cold, then I think in most cases you can expect about half an hour of preheating time. Okay, we're going to see one last case here. Okay, in this case, um, we are still in Rovaniemi, but this is the last day, right before we are about to leave Rovaniemi. I've charged the car to 90% during the night. It was freaking cold that morning, minus 19. It was also minus 19 in the cabin. I look in the app. Uh, the battery was uh, surprisingly not that cold. It was colder during the night, but I think I accidentally preheated the battery during uh, when, when I was on the ice taking uh, photos. We left the car with the keep climate on and then it started preheating the battery. Um, but also during the night, yes, we also charged during the night. And of course that process generates a little bit of heat. So that explains why it, it's at 11.8 uh, here and not cold, like in like the previous case, it was uh, only three degrees Celsius. Um, so, um, I think I, I, just, I had to wait a little bit. I had to wait a minute before. There, there, there. Now I preheat again. You guys see that you've seen it before. Uh, the afterburners start firing up. Um, we are plugged in, but the charge level was set to 95%. And this case is slightly different than the first case when I was plugged into the Fortum 
um, that was that was 22 kilowatt or at least 11 kilowatt to this car which is that in this charging point here it was a little bit weird I didn't have uh, 11 kilowatt available I had about five or six kilowatt available so what you see now is that it's pulling power from the battery you see when it's when it's red now it's pulling uh, from the battery it, it also prioritizes the preheat this time um, preheat uh, I mean fire up the afterburners um, so why did, did it do this because I wanted to charge to 95% um, I think it figures out that well actually I'm not sure what the heck the car was thinking um, <laughs> to be honest uh, maybe it wanted to um, yeah you know what I think 11.8 uh, degrees Celsius is too cold uh, the car probably wants to go to 15 so we're gonna see what happens now Okay, um, skip a little bit. So you see, we, we pull here. Uh, we we have to lose a little bit of battery, uh, but after a while, the the afterburners will shut down. Um, let me try skip. Oh, wow, that's pretty high pull, man. Heater is running a lot. This one is running a lot. We have to spend. So actually, the the car will allow to drop the state of charge by two percent, roughly. Uh, I think below until it reaches some low threshold. There. Now suddenly the, the afterburner shut down at 87%. Um, we're not running too much of the heater. I think we're getting okay heat. Wow, it's still high though. <laughs> yeah, it was, must have been pretty cold in that car. Yeah, it was so cold that uh, the the pillow, wife's pillow, was hard. Yeah, it's that that memory foam pillow. Um, but oh, hang on, let me just do something. I have to reset the. Um, uh, one, one thing you notice now is that suddenly. It, uh, it figures out that, okay, the, the battery is at uh, 18.5, which is good enough. Uh, the, and then the car wants to prioritize charging up while still maintaining heat in the cabin. So maintaining heat in the cabin seems to be very important, but also um, also charging up char charging it up to 85% that I've set. So actually for the rest of the charging session, I'm oh, sorry, well, charging preheating session now, it will not fire up the afterburners. You see the afterburners are, are shut off, um, and but we are still charging. Okay, yeah, by the way, after, um, after about half an hour of preheating, well, when it was minus 18 when I started, after half an hour, uh, the cabin has been nicely warmed up. And you see it's only pulling 1.3, 1.4 kilowatt to maintain the heat in the cabin. But keep in mind that everything was still not uh, warm uh, in the cabin. It was still getting something, but uh, stuff was still frozen. Like I had a water bottle that was, was completely frozen still. Uh, but uh, you see that um, uh, at this point the car will prioritize uh, charging up to 95%. It actually never reached 95% by, by the time I wanted to leave the hotel, but uh, close enough. So, um, and for me, um, I guess, so you see that uh, the, the temperature was in fact higher before it stopped, but then it slowly cooled down. But I think this was the right decision because I wanted to have fairly high um, state of charge. And uh, to me, I actually want the battery to be, I mean, 18 degrees is already okay. I was still getting, yeah, you see, I, I had 27 kilowatt um, region during the trip. So after I unplugged here, then I started my trip from Rovaniemi towards Töre. And during the trip, it was minus 10 degrees Celsius in the, on the air. And um, the battery was maintaining 18 degrees. It didn't chill down more because it was getting leftover heat from the motors constantly. Uh, and the consumption wasn't too high. It was hovering around 230 watt hour per kilometer, even though I was hammering it uh, kind of fast. Uh, and I had 991, uh, 90, I think I had 92% when I left. So very interesting to see how uh, Tesla, at least Model 3, prioritizes things. And again, this is also very useful info for you guys um, when you want to preheat the car before a long trip, like like the one from, from Rovaniemi to Töre. It's, it was somewhat long trip, 200 kilometer trip. I wasn't sure whether I can make it or something. I actually did it just fine, no problem. Uh, but there, there will be times when you want to start with the best conditions, you know, a uh, nicely warm cabin, nicely warm battery, and charge it up to whatever uh, high is state of charge. So you know, by doing, by knowing all this, how the car thinks, then you can set the charge limit or whatever. And basically, it boils down to how much power do you have in the plug. If if I you know 
if I knew that I only had uh, 3.7 kilowatt in the plug, then I would probably allow to charge it up to 92% in the morning or something. Um, and then started preheating and all that stuff. But then of course, if you have less, less power in the plug, then you have to expect that you will not be able to charge up the car and preheat and do all that stuff. It's simply not enough power from the plug. Yeah. But yeah, so I think that's gonna be it for now. Yes, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.